Hello friends. Welcome to my new JPA, Hibernate Programming Tutorial Series video. In this tutorial, we will discuss about, how to create, composite primary keys by, at the rate ID class annotation in Hibernate using JPA. Let's move ahead. Friends. Let's discuss what is composite primary keys in database. Composite primary keys in database are group of columns, whose values together make a unique value for a row. If unique key is contained in single column, then at the rate ID is used, and when the primary key consists of multiple columns, these columns needs to be grouped into a different object. To group multiple columns into a class, some rules have to be followed. Moving ahead. Friends, let's discuss, rules to make a class hold composite keys. Class must be a public class. Class must have a default constructor. Class must implement serializable interface. Class will not require primary key of its own. Class must implement equals and hash code method. Moving ahead. Persistence.xml file used in this example must have following properties, as mentioned in the slide. Friends, you can watch my complete video on persistence.xml. In this tutorial we can skip explaining the persistence.xml. Only property to mention is hibernate.hbm2ddl.auto, having value as, create. This property signifies that, whenever we run application, it should delete previous schema and table, and create new table based on the persist method call. Moving ahead. Let's discuss the code for employee entity point by point. Number 1, let's create an entity by name employee. Provide at the rate entity and at the rate ID class annotation over employee class. At the rate ID class annotation has a property as value. The value property takes parameter of class type. The class type in our case is address.class. It signifies address.class is to be used as the compound primary key. Moving ahead. Number 2. In order to make multiple properties as composite primary key. In this type of implementation, we have to annotate all the properties with annotation at the rate ID. This tells Hibernate that, these properties all combine to make primary key. And this primary keys is grouped in the class address, mentioned in the at the rate ID class annotation value property. Moving ahead. Number 3. Generate getters and setters for all the properties, including at the rate ID properties. Moving ahead. Let's create an address class, holding composite primary keys. This class must follow few rules we discussed above. Let's discuss all the rules as point by point. Number 1, address class must not be annotated by any annotation. Moving ahead. Number 2. This class must implement serializable interface. Moving ahead. Number 3, address class has group of properties such as, street name and zip code. These two properties together will make a primary key. These two properties together will be composite primary key. Moving ahead. Number 4, address class should be made public. Moving ahead. Number 5, class must implement equals and hash code method. Friends, you can watch my two videos for equals and hash code method. In this tutorial do refer those videos, we can skip its explanation in this video. Here, this two method allow the JPA, to test primary key collisions. Here, we have to make combination of street name and zip code as unique. JPA uses these two methods to make properties unique. Moving ahead. Let's create test class for providing demo for composite primary keys using at the rate ID class. Let's discuss the code point by point. Number 1, create an employee instance having employee name, street name and zip code as, John Smith, Park Street and, 4110128. Moving ahead. Number 2, let's call persist method of entity manager to persist employee instance. This will create a table employee in database, having street name and zip code as primary composite keys, into it as columns. Friends, 
for rest of code working you can refer my previous tutorials on JPA. Moving ahead. Let's check database for table employee and run a select query on it, as shown in figure. The image in slide displays the single row for employee entity, having address columns into it and being unique together. Moving ahead. So friends, this was the tutorial on how to create composite primary keys by, at the rate ID class annotation in Hibernate using JPA. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, composite primary keys by, at the rate ID class annotation concept in JPA gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.